Everybody on the panel, stand by. Let me holler at Salas, and he'll appreciate this. You see this, Salas? This is what Yahweh represent. Not He don't represent metals. He represent the one that actually give metals a shape. And, give, and this is the same concept of your body having a shape. This is the same concept of your mind landing inside the fetal bag of your mama and making a body for itself and going inside of that body. Yahweh represents the mind that exists over matter, and it is the mental world or the thought realm that shapes the physical world, that gives the physical world definition. Nothing in the physical world would take a form if it wasn't for conception, which is the mind, which is what Yahweh is personifying, that which shapes the physical world. And so they got him looking like a, a metallurgist because metallurgists shape metals. They forge things. And that's what God is. The mind forges the material world, mind over matter. It is the spiritual realm that shapes the physical world and gives it definition. So Yahweh is personifying the creator, the, the, not the creator, but the conceiver, which is why I named my documentary Yahweh the conceiver. Yahweh was never a creator. Conception take place before creation. The thought happens before the thing manifests. And this is the thought is what shapes the material world. If I think of a chair in my head, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get some wood and shape it into what I just thought about. So our thoughts become the blueprints that shape everything and manifestation into the form that it is embodying at this present moment. It is so beautiful. So Yahweh is literally a furnace that we call Moloch, which is this big ass bull, right? Think about this right here. This is what Yahweh is. Here's another form of Yahweh. And if you look at this, it's a furnace. What do we use a furnace for? To shape things, to shape metal. This is what the metallurgists put his iron in and melt it so he can bend it and mold it. So the ancestors said that we are souls in a furnace right now. And if somebody say Sanchez, why would God put us in this fire and burn us alive? Because that's what the earth is. Earth is a big furnace. Your body is 98.5 degrees. You're literally being burnt right now. But I'm going to ask you something. Does a flame of fire know that it's hot? No, it doesn't. Check this out, right? We're in hell, which is the earth realm. If somebody say Sanchez, why would they throw us into a furnace? Because we're being shaped and molded. We're being shaped and molded by our own conception energy, which is the highest self constantly molding us and bending and smashing and pounding on what we are. And it ain't comfortable. It's not comfortable. You are literally this bright, shining piece of metal that is trying to get to know yourself by actually shaping who you want to be in real time as I speak right now. You are like Yahweh. You are like Thor with the hammer in his hand, shaping your very soul's essence.